What's up people, it's King Dove the Seventh, and I'm here to talk to you about the Ferrana Closed Beta that I played recently. And first and foremost, I just want to say that this is not a review, because personally, I don't believe in reviews. I don't think that I can tell you whether or not you would like a game, because I feel like we all look at games very differently. Like things that I may like in games, other people may hate in games. Things that I hate in games, other people may love in games. I know that because people love Call of Duty, I hate Call of Duty with all of my heart and soul. Now. What I can do is I can give you my experiences on games and whether you agree with how I feel about those experiences or disagree with whether I feel about those experiences. You can go out and try whatever game you want to try or buy whatever game you want to buy and I can feel good about that. Now the game I'm going to do that as I said before, I'm going to do that with For Honor. When I played the For Honor Alpha, I did not like that game at all. I didn't think that it was horrible, I thought that it was a game with a lot of promise and potential, but it's Ubisoft and I didn't have much faith in Ubisoft. I was like, there's no way that they can turn this game into what it could be. And it had a lot of problems as it, as it was, I shouldn't say as is because, well, we'll talk about that later. It had a lot of problems as it was. First, the combat system. Well, first and foremost, what I'm going to say is, or I guess this isn't first and foremost anymore, but what I'm going to say is, For Honor is not the type of game that will do well. It doesn't show its full glory in an alpha or a beta. The reason I say that is, the game goes way more in depth than you could possibly play in a beta or alpha, unless you just put in like crazy amounts of hours, like 30 hours, 10 hours a day in the beta or alpha. Besides that, I feel like it does have a learning curve that you won't necessarily get by playing it a couple of times during the beta or alpha. And most casual people who only have like a couple of hours or even less to spare on a beta or alpha, I feel like they won't get the full glory of For Honor. The thing about it is, in the alpha, they had we had even less content than we had in the beta that just happened and the alpha we had eight characters to play and i don't think we even had like the three or four maps that we had in the beta i think we only had like two maps in the alpha no the thing about it for me in the alpha first the majority of the fights that i played felt very similar it didn't have much gameplay diversity in the alpha that didn't change that much in the beta but it did change in the beta so the the classes that you could use in the alpha in my opinion played very similarly there wasn't much switching except i'm pretty sure the orochi was in the alpha that's i don't know what an orochi is exactly but i'm pretty sure that was in the alpha that had the biggest change in gameplay for me everything else felt very similar everything else you just blocked and waited until the enemy stamina drained and then you just went on a full attack with heavy hits and if they didn't block you then they just died and then you would do an execution and that would just be the end of it what else did I not like about the alpha also in the alpha I don't exactly remember 100% because I don't have any gameplay video that I recorded because it had NDA on it but I don't know if you could buy executions or gear I think you might have been able to buy gear, but I don't think you could buy execution. So I thought all the moves that they had, that each class had, was just the end all be all. And I don't think you could customize the way your character looked. But that probably, these could have just been me being lazy and not fully looking into what the alpha had in store. Because I didn't necessarily love the gameplay. And because I didn't love the gameplay in the alpha, because that's what it all comes down to at the end of the day, gameplay. Because I didn't love the gameplay that much in the alpha i didn't really give the alpha the time of day to uh to really explore in its full glory now with the beta i'm kind of disappointed in myself because i only played quick match and i only played four on four because i was playing with some friends and the beta i felt like a lot of things that they added some new maps customization you could buy weapons, you could buy executions, uh, and they added more classes. I felt like those additions alleviated the lack of diversity in gameplay that For Honor had before. Because before, rather than uh, always fighting what felt like the same person over and over again, they had different types of characters. Like they had characters with the damage over time, 
they had uh i think they added new abilities because i don't remember if Orochi always had this because and but in the beta the Orochi had an ability where he could bring out a bow and arrow and he could shoot at people the beta was just it just added so much more gameplay depth than the alpha did also what i never even tried to look at in the alpha there are a lot of combos that you could do with individual characters but the big heavy hitters the big brawlers like the samurai and the knight they had pretty similar abilities which is it goes back to what i said before about lack of gameplay diversity so just having all of like characters of that same type only in the alpha it really hurt it and the beta it was it was just so much better and i'm trying to really think about it why i had so much more fun i think the biggest reason that i had uh much more fun in the beta compared to what i had in the alpha i think <coughs> excuse me i think that uh for honor is going to be a game that you're not going to enjoy if you play it by yourself unless you're just really good and if you're really good you might be able to enjoy it if you play it by yourself but from my experience with for honor it's a very objective heavy game a very objective heavy game means very communication heavy game for the most part when you talk to randoms in voice chat they either say something that has no substance or anything to do with the gameplay at hand they either say something very useless or they just don't talk at all it's rare that you get a random on your team that is good at communicating because usually a random that's not in the group does just doesn't talk much in chat so he's not used to communicating with a team now if you're playing with a group of friends you can communicate which objective you want to go for the person you want to kill because that's another thing for honor it's not a game that is limited to one-on-one -on -one fights if you're playing four on four and you're fighting one person you better you better be looking at your map and you better be looking around on the uh on the actual map itself you better look at your map on your hud and you better look at the random on the map yourself because somebody can sneak up behind you and start slicing you up or sneak up on your side and start slicing you up your enemy can get back up at any time and it's not going to be fun if your enemy just keeps getting back up and you have no one backing you up because you have no friends that you're playing with because when I was playing with uh, my friend 3 Minute Gamer, you guys might know him or not, I'll put his channel in the description as a pretty big channel. When I was playing with 3 Minute Gamer, the only person who would help me on my team would be him. And the only person who would help him would really be me. It would be very rare that a random would come and help us. The only person who would revive me would be him. The only person, well, I didn't really revive him because I didn't even know how to do it at first because I was playing on mouse and keyboard which is different than what I was playing on the alpha and alpha I was playing with a controller but yeah I didn't know the button to revive that's a whole nother story though so the point is is that we were the only two people who were backing each other up which is only to be expected because we were the only two people in the group if you don't have a group it's going to be very rare that you're going to get the backup that you're going to want or need so I think that For Honor is going to be a game that you're going you're going to want to play with your friends. I think that before I wasn't planning on buying For Honor. Now I definitely have it on my radar. I may not buy it. I don't want to buy it for 460. I definitely don't. But if they can make another jump for me like they did from Alpha to Beta. If they make a huge jump like that in terms of fun factor from Beta to full game. Then it might be worth 60. Another big issue that I, uh, well something there are a couple of things that i'm thinking about brainstorming for honor some of them might be in another video but one thing though this is a very multiplayer focused game but they are going to have single player i'm very worried about how in depth the single player is going to be for this multiplayer focus i think that ubisoft's main goal for this is to, for the multiplayer to blow up and i won't think they want to have a big esports scene for for honor I don't think that this is going to have that great of a, a single player story and I don't really want to pay $60 for a game with a subpar single player that's just me though like I said I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about the game I think that if you're a big fan of multiplayer games if you're a big fan of objective based gameplay I think if you like MOBAs also that you like a game like For Honor if you don't like multiplayer games if you don't like objective gameplay, I'm not sure if For Honor will be for you, but I definitely think it's a game worth trying out. Uh, this is, will be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment especially 
on your opinions of for honor if you played the beta if you didn't play the beta you can still comment on what you thought of gameplay of the beta or whatever but this is kingdom 7th signing off peace